Yeah, we've had some chilly conditions, but things are going to change a little bit. And we actually got some snow in the forecast for this weekend, specifically going to Sunday. Really, it's a system out to the west that's going to play a part in getting some of that snow. And then there's a front well to the north that also. So that's what we're looking at, too. But for tomorrow, we'll really, you wake up. It's just going to be cloudy skies. Temperatures a little bit warmer than we had today. And the winds definitely will be around to the southwest. So by the time you get to noon, we're looking around around freezing for most locations. You can start seeing some of the blue starting to show up. A lot of that probably won't reach the ground in the afternoon hours. We're probably going to see maybe some flurries or light snow really developing towards Saturday night. But as you look at right now, it's not quite widespread. We're not expecting any significant impacts here through 9, 8, 9 p.m. tomorrow night with just some light snow beginning to develop. Once again, it'll be on and off. A lot of areas still probably will not see anything until we get really into Sunday. And tracking this out, you kind of see here's a system lifting north. It starts spreading that snow really tomorrow night but it's in the early part of the day on set, Sunday that we'll watch it. And then here's that front that comes down. That's a cold front that will come through and produce maybe some more snow showers Sunday afternoon along with windy conditions. But once again, we're not expecting a lot of accumulation with this. It's a little bit light snow. Travel impact should be fairly light. Breezy conditions Sunday afternoon, you'll definitely notice that too. So that's what we're seeing, two things, systems that will provide at least some snowfall to the area. So you'll wake up with something to see. Overall amounts right now, generally less than one inch across the area. A little bit more heavier as you get closer to southern Wisconsin. A little bit lighter further to the north. Once again, these are generally under one inch. And there could be an isolated area that picked up a little bit more. But the snow rate is not going to be that high to probably provide too much of a travel issue. The winds that yes, we're going to see the winds behind that front coming Sunday afternoon to the northwest. So you'll notice that if you're traveling any time in the afternoon to evening hours for Sunday out of the northwest, sustained 15 to 20, we could have higher gusts. But overall, if you look at the impact, as I mentioned before, we're not expecting very limited impacts like this. This shouldn't be a major system, but once again, a lot of people will be traveling that time of the day for Sunday coming back home. So something to keep in mind of if you're out and about. Overall, going into next week, really another week system may come down Tuesday. And then by the middle of the week, everything begins to change a little bit. That means our temperatures may start to come up a little bit as we get closer to that. But for tonight, Boomy cloud cover, excuse me, tomorrow cloud cover will be really the story. Temperatures a few degrees warmer than today, 35 degrees, but pretty uniform across most of the area. Even southern areas will look at 35 degrees in Prairie du Chien up to the north. Once again, just a few degrees above freezing for most areas. Not much in the way of snow until Sunday evening. And the same story as we go towards Ladysmith and Eau Claire right there for conditions. Overall, there's your looking at your snow. Once again, it'll probably be ending sometime Sunday afternoon. The winds will pick up. It'll get cold for at least Monday. And then temperatures may start to rebound a little bit towards the 40s towards the end of the week. So we'll keep updated on Sunday's snow, but it doesn't mm -hmm. look to be that impactful. But something to keep in mind if you're traveling. Sounds good. Thank you, Greg. Uh -huh.